Hey, have you ever noticed that most people only ever get a fraction of what they really want in life? You ever wondered why that is? Well, I'm going to explain exactly why that is in this video. The other day I sent out an email with a link to a free video where I explain how I created a coaching business that makes me as much money as a doctor while working part-time hours and working from home or working on the road or wherever I want to work. And it, you know, if you want to see that, by the way, you can see the video here. But anyway, I sent out that video and I had one guy reply to the email saying, please stop sending me junk. And I thought that response was so interesting because here was, I was sharing one of the most valuable things I've ever learned in my life. Something that is far more valuable to me than anything I learned in my six years of going to college. It has absolutely transformed my life in, in just about every way. And somehow, this guy thinks that that very same thing is junk. And it dawned on me that this gentleman and I live in completely different realities. And those realities are determined entirely by our beliefs. So when I heard about coaches that could teach you to create businesses like this, that could create this sort of lifestyle for you, I considered it, right? And I, I eventually realized that it makes sense and I went for it and I built the business. This gentleman who, who responded to my email just thinks it's too good to be true, right? that there's no possible way that you can make that much money in that little time and have the lifestyle that you desire. It just can't be. That's just too good to be true. And so he was never even willing to click on the video. He was never even willing to consider even the slightest possibility that it might actually be true. If he had been willing to spend just a few minutes of his time, which in all likelihood, he is already selling to an employer for way below what it's worth. If he was willing to spend just a few minutes, he would have proven to himself that it's true because it's really, it's just simple math, right? I made the claim that you can start a coaching business to make as much money as a doctor working part-time from home. Well, just look at the numbers here. How much does a doctor make? Well, a doctor on average in the United States of America makes about $20,000 a month. If you can sell a coaching program for $1,000 and get 20 sales a month, that's five sales a week, then voila, you've made $20,000 a month. And do you think that somebody would be willing to spend $1,000 for a coaching program? Well, people will routinely spend $100,000 on a college program Right? Do you think that they would be willing to spend just 1% of that on a coaching program that can teach them to get some result in their life that's important to them? Of, of course they would, and people do it all the time. So really, it's about the simplest business model in the world, right? You teach somebody to do something that is valuable to them, you charge them $1,000, you do it 20 times in a month, and boom, you've made $20,000 a month. You can teach over Zoom, you can do it from home, you can do it from Starbucks, you can do it on the road, whatever you want. And if you structure the program the right way, you really only have to spend a few hours a week doing it. But the point is that this gentleman lost out on a great opportunity because he believed that it was too good to be true. And that's what everybody does, right? And this isn't the only opportunity, right? There are a lot of opportunities. We're surrounded with them. With the internet, you do realize that you have access to just about everyone and everything. You have an unlimited audience. You have unlimited learning potential. There's so many opportunities surrounding you at all times. But if you're like most people, you're just conditioned to say, I can't have the things that I want. It's too good to be true. Only special people can do that, and, and I'm just a normal guy. It reminds me of something I heard a while ago, that if you want to keep an elephant in captivity, that's not real easy to do uh, force-wise, right? Because an elephant's very big and very strong, and, and it would be pretty difficult to build walls around that elephant that are strong enough to keep it from running away. And so what people do is they capture an elephant when it's a baby, when it's not very strong. They put a stake in the ground, they tie a rope from the stake to the elephant. And so the elephant is chained to the stake and the elephant tries to pull against the stake and tries to get away. But since the elephant is small, it doesn't have the strength to 
pull the stake out of the ground and get away. And so after a while, the elephant learns its lesson and it just stops trying, right? It knows that the stake is too strong for it and so it stops trying to pull it away. Well, years go by, the elephant gets bigger and bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger, but the belief has been planted in that elephant's mind that it can't pull out the stake, that it's not strong enough. And so it stopped trying because it has been conditioned to believe that escape is impossible. And for the vast majority of human beings, the situation is exactly the same. We've been conditioned to believe that we have no power to change our circumstances, except only a little bit of tinkering here and there. And in fact, I've noticed even in my own marketing that it's a lot easier to sell people on a modest result rather than a truly life transforming result. It's like if you were gonna pitch the, the elephant who's already convinced that he can't escape, it, you can pitch him that uh, you can teach him how to get more peanuts from the master and he'll be much more excited about that than if you say, hey, I can help you escape, right? Then he just won't listen. He'll say, oh, well, that's impossible. So whenever you're, if you are a marketer, that's a, a very good lesson to learn is that people have very low expectations. And so if you can get people's attention a lot better by promising some marginal result that, oh, you can get paid just a little bit more, or you can have just a little bit more free time, or you can have just a little bit better job, something like that. But if you promise them something that's truly life transforming, they'll just tune out in most cases. They'll think, oh, that's too good to be true. So the question that I would ask you is, do you have beliefs like that? Do you have beliefs that are holding you back from what you really desire? Are there things that you would like to have in your life that you have some sort of excuse for why you can't have? Do you find that whenever you're presented an opportunity to make some real lasting change, that you think to yourself, oh, that'll never work. Oh, that's too good to be true. Oh, maybe that works for somebody, but it wouldn't work for little old me. Next time you find yourself thinking something like that, ask yourself this question. Just ask yourself, is it really true? Is it really too good to be true? Do you have a really good reason to believe why this thing, this opportunity wouldn't work? Is there some real rational basis for this? Or have you just been conditioned to believe that nothing is ever really gonna get substantially better. And so anybody who is offering an opportunity to make your life substantially better must be lying. If you can start to recognize when you have those sort of knee-jerk mental reactions, then you can slow down a moment and ask yourself, well, is there really a good reason to believe this? Or are my beliefs just holding me back from something that really could help me in my life? It could be that there's an opportunity to get everything that you ever dreamed of and it's staring you in the face, but you've never really given it the time of day because you were conditioned to believe that it's too good to be true. If that's the case, then maybe now's the time to jump on it. It could be that really the only thing that has been holding you back from having the success that you have always wanted to have is some false limiting belief that has been conditioned into you from some childhood experience. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this opens your eyes to the myriad of opportunities that are around you at all times. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up or the like button of whatever type on the platform that you're on. Subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, hit the bell icon so you're the first person to get all my new videos. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you think I'm full of crap, you're more than welcome to say so. And uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about a coaching business, but you're not quite sure what exactly you would teach, then check out this video for a whole bunch of ideas of what you could teach if you're not really sure. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.